Let's see. <laughs> He's very nervous around me. <laughs> that thought much past that. I can, I can just continue to deceive you by playing more country because <laughs> those are the ones I tend to know right off the top of my head. Rather a two dozen. Um, on the hill and the ground to shoot it. Yeah, that's good. 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 Yeah, that's no, it's, no, it's, I, mean, yeah, I don't think you're yeah, right. I guess I'll just do that because yeah. I'm not lost at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, old Johnny Cash came. Right. My brother. Yeah. I remember you did three words like that. Yeah. Early one morning while making the rounds, yeah. took a shot of cocaine and I shot my woman down. Went right home and I went to bed. I sucked that love and bowed it for beneath my head. Woke up next morning and I grabbed that gun. Took a shot of coke and away I run. Made a good run, but I run too slow. They overtook me down in Morris, Mexico. They did not join me in taking the pills. In Mark, the sheriff from Jericho. He said, Willie Lee, your name is not Jack Brown. You're the dirty hack that shut two women down. And so, yes, my name is Willie Lee. Lydia you got a warren, just read it to me. Shot her down, cause she made me sore. I thought I was a daddy, but she had my more. When I was arrested, I was dressed in black. Put me on a train and they took me back. Had no brain for to go my bed. They stuck my love and caucus in the county jail. Early next morning, about a half past nine, I was in front of sheriff walking down the line. Man, as he cleared his throat, he said, Come on, you dirty hack into the district court. Into the court from my trial began Where I was held by twelve honest men Before the jury even sought it out I saw that little judge commence to look about In about five minutes it came a man Willard the verdict in his right hand the verdict read in the first degree I hollered, Lordy, Lordy, have mercy on me The judge, he smiled as he picked up his pen Nine, nine years in the Folsom Bend Nine, nine years underneath that ground I can't forget the day I shot that bad bitch down Come on, you fellas, listen unto me Lay off that whiskey, let that coke in me. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, I, I ran into a gentleman here that said he saw me at a poetry reading. Uh, I don't know where he went to, and I didn't catch his name either, so I feel kind of bad. Where'd that, where'd that dude go? Uh, let's see him. Well, anyway, uh, I don't know if you guys wanted to be favored with a poem, just to... Go ahead. All right. This is the one that I have the dubious <laughs> honor of being famous for, I guess, because everybody knows me for this one. And I do write a lot of serious poems, and this is like one of the silliest ones I ever wrote, and it's also the most popular, so I hope you like it. And it's uh, written in the form of a letter, and it, I wrote it in a past life when I was a Chuck Jones cartoon character, so I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 
Dear Roadrunner, I'm writing you this letter to admit defeat. I wave the proverbial white flag of surrender, for as much as you vex me, I must concede checkmate in this grotesque game of chess we've been playing since the early 1950s. You've always succeeded swiftly, racing by me, just out of reach, whilst I salivate. And now I congratulate you on your winning this game. My claim to fame, since before I met you, is that I, I am a certified genius! So capturing you should have been easy. You, my white desert whale, dressed in pearl feathers. You, my mule on stilt legs, moving faster than the eye can see, always taunting me, vexing me in my every not fast enough step. It is simply not fair, my avian foe. You see, I am predator. I need sustenance to survive. More sustenance than a boiled boot can provide. And I'm really not a bad guy, but then again, you never took the time to get to know me. Always speeding out of my life as quickly and spontaneously as you once entered it. Oh, the first time ever I glimpsed your palatable form in a halted step out of a blur. My spirit soared, like an acne kite. Drool dropped down like sticks of dynamite from a hot air balloon. But very soon, my simple bloodlust and hunger turned to seething rage at your relentless aversion to all of my traps, my grand designs, all of the weapons money can buy. And while we're on the subject, do you know how much debt I'm in? The hospital bills, the outstanding balance with Acme products, the lawyer fees regarding that faulty catapult? I'm also under investigation by Homeland Security about my weapons of mass destruction. But I digress. The point is, Mr. Runner, that I am soon to move to a trailer park outside of this desert, somewhere close to a grocery store. Perhaps I'll even get a day job, because whenever I see your familiar blurry figure zip by, my heart sinks like an anvil dropping off a cliffside. My rage explodes like a hand grenade betwixt my teeth, my spirits crushed as though beneath boulders. And now it's over. You win. Enjoy the desert, you scoundrel. And by defeat, you've earned it. Signed, Wile E. Coyote. Certified genius. P.S. See you in hell.